Hello, nice to meet you today. My name is Morita from Obashi Corporation. <clears throat> from October 2018 to April 2020, I was engaged in this project. From the construction of the main dam body to dismantling of the facilities. I will start with an overview of this project. In Laos, we contracted a power generation dam and a power plant of, on a tributary of the Mekong River, which flow along the border with Thailand. The name of tributary is the Namni Up River. Next, please see the project scheme on the upper left. The Namni Up One hydraulic power plant construction projected is a BOT project for independent hydroelectric power producers funded by Kansai Electric Power CEO, the electric power company of Thailand and the Lao State Investment Company. Obayashi Corporation undertook civil engineering and construction work as a contractor. Please see the map in the center of the slide. The left side of the large map on the slide is the upstream of the river. On the left side of the map, we constructed the main dam and the main powerhouse. And on the right side, we built a re-regulation dam that regulated the amount of water discharged to the downstream area and a third powerhouse. It also shows the location of relocation villages for residents who need to be relocated due to dam construction. This project is underway after concluding a concession agreement with the Lao government. And after 27 years of commercial operation, the ascent will be transferred to Lao Laos without compensation. The main dam is a gravity concrete dam using the RCC construction method. The RCC method will be explained later. With a dam height of 167 meter, a dam crest length of 535 meter, a re-regulation dam is a concrete gravity dam that employs a labyrinth structure. RCC is an acronym for Lower com compacted concrete. Spray hard kneaded concrete is transported from the plant by belt conveyor or dump truck, spread evenly by a bulldozer, and compacted by vibrating lora. Since the layer and filled up on after another without waiting for them to harden, it is possible to shorter, shorter than the construction period compared to conventional construction method using general high flooding concrete, making it highly economical. Next, I will explain the slope layer construction method. In contrast to the horizontal layer construction method, in which RCG is laid up in layer of 30 cm each on a plane, plane. the slope layer construction method places a slope in order from the left bank or right bank of the dam and pours each layer 30 cm at a time. With this construction method, also a core joint is always generated for each lift. It takes about a week to reach the other side, during which time the final excavation and cleaning of the border rock and the consolidation of the dam foundation are performed. In addition, since the area for each placement is smaller than the horizontal layer, it is possible to respond flexibility to sudden downpours during the rainy season, making it easy to treat paring joint and protect from rain. On the other hand, as shown in this light figure of the slide, the construction procedure is complicated and it is necessary to repeat the construction of three blocks at the same time. Therefore, it was necessary to build an advanced and systematic quality control system. And it was necessary to for multinational integrated them that transcended that be barriers between managers and constructors. 
and we focus on through information sharing and management. We believe that it is essential to improve the technical skills of multinational workers in order to improve casting efficiency and quality. We implemented organizational technical education management to foster professionalism among workers and quality control to constantly analyze and optimize quality indicated such as RCC material separation status and density treated. As a result, the average monthly placement volume was ranking ninth in the world at the time, and the placement efficiently concreted by dividing the monthly average placement volume by the placement capacity was among the highest in the world. In addition, compaction management using GNSS also performed the average density sufficiently satisfied the required quality. The RCC strength stability records a coefficient of variation of 6%. The concrete joints are sound and the inspected gallery and dam after flooding leaked from the downstream surface is really over observed. By engineering sufficient quality, we were able to use 120 kg of cement and fly ash combined materials per cubic meter in the high altitude section of the dam. The standard is 200 kg, which means that the economy has also improved. Lastly, I am currently participating in a project in Japan, but the experience of working overseas with people from various cultures and sharing ideas and goals while communicating with each other has shaped my current style. <clears throat> there are difficulties unique to overseas, but I believe that the experience will allow me to step up the next stage. Thank you for your attention.